scene from a quarantine. Day two. This is going to be so great. I can read all day and I can stay in my room and no one's going to say, why don't you go out? Why don't you see your friends? You need to have more friends. Joke's on you. Who is going to survive for weeks on their own without talking to anyone? Me. Who could care less about keeping in touch with all of their friends? Me again. I wish I could quarantine for the rest of my life. This is going to be so easy. Scene from a quarantine. Day eight. Day eight. So, things are fine, you know? It's one thing to say it's going to be easy to stay in the house when you have the choice to stay in the house. When you could go somewhere if you wanted to. It's an entirely different kettle of baloney when you can't. I don't actually enjoy reading all day. All day. It's a funny concept. We say it, but until you've actually sat and stared at the same page for hours and hours. And I, I've done things. I've alphabetized my books, organized my closet. I've put together this clothing donation pile, which... It's still a pile, because I can't take it anymore. I've rearranged my posters into themes, and I've made seven dioramas. Seven dioramas in my spare time. What am I going to do tomorrow? Scene from the quarantine. Day 749. Or 13. The situation is dire. My parents have retreated to separate corners of the house because of the my meeting is more important than your meeting debate of 10 a.m., which followed the why are you wasting so much toilet paper clash of 8 a.m., which followed the 7.56 a.m. That wasn't 20 seconds. It took. Send home. Can you believe it? I miss you so much. <laughs> Not as much as I miss you. I miss you more. I can't believe it. Quarantine. <sighs> if only they waited one more day for that stay-at-home order, we, we could have been married. And together. <sighs> oh, the rotten luck. Still, we're healthy and well, and this is for the best. We're healthy and well, and this is for the best. Did you get my present? I sent a messenger to your house. Yes, I got it. Aren't we lucky that messengers are considered essential services? Did you get my present? <laughs> I did, and disinfected it thoroughly. You didn't have to do that. I'm not sick. You, uh, you, ne you never know. <laughs> I do know. You could be asymptomatic. You could have touched something. I'm not sick. You're... Pretty absent-minded. You could have touched something without realizing. Is that right? You sound testy. That's because I am. Still, we're healthy and well, and this is for the best. We're healthy and well, and this is for the best. You didn't have to give me a present. I wanted to. <laughs> You're the very first boy I've ever bought a present for. I hardly knew what I was doing. Nobody teaches you how to buy a present for the very first boy you've ever bought a present for. Especially when you're not supposed to be thinking about boys at all, and you're supposed to be happy with the one your parents throw at you. Nurse taught me a lot of things, but present shopping wasn't one of them. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure it's great. I'll, you know, I'll even go so far to say that you did perfect. Perfect? That's a lot of pressure. This present has to be right. This present is a representation of our relationship. If I got the wrong present, that means my feelings are false. No, 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 no. I know your feelings are true because I can feel them from your room to, to mine. Aw, Romeo. Are you happy with the present you got? Totally. I got you the absolute best present. I'm an awesome gift giver, if I do say so myself. Sounds like you do. 
It was a little tricky, because we've only been dating for a day, but I'm not worried. Oh, good. <laughs> Shall I open yours? <laughs> Whoa. Nice wrapping! I, I love the paper. We have to save that. Whoa, uh... So much... Tape, uh... Next time, I'll show you how to only use three pieces. <laughs> You'd be surprised how little you need. It's incredibly satisf satisfying to use these teeny tiny squares and uh, be able to wrap something like a tennis racket, which is not easy, and I mean, it is just- Just open it! Open it! <laughs> open it, please! Oh. You hate it. Uh, no. They're socks. I... I can see that. You talked about always having cold feet. Oh, 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 I screwed everything up! Relax. It, it was your first time. I've had more practice. Uh, open mind. Aren't you going to admire the wrapping? Nice wrapping. <laughs> I only use three pieces of tape. <laughs> a hairbrush? You gave me a hairbrush? <laughs> this hairbrush is specifically designed to get out the tangles out of your type of hair with the least amount of breakage. It is a non-slip, ergonomic, angled handle with a balance of distribution so that your wrist will be in the exact right position. Uh, it's a work of art and a work of science. Oh, it, it's beautiful. I had it engraved with the family's crest. Yes, you did. Can I ask you a question? I want to clarify something. You want to learn. Oh, I'm touched. Because you're so much better at giving gifts, a hairbrush is better than socks. It has your family crest. <laughs> Everything I own has my family crest. Well, that's a good present. Sorry, this situation is a little tense for all of us. Uh, still, we're healthy and well, and this is for the best. The socks are way better. Ta how dare you! One hundred lambs died to get you the wool for those socks. The knitter wept because I made her redo the pattern three times. That is a mark of a fine present chosen with love and care, so you can suck it, Romeo Montague. I'm not sure I want to wear socks lambs died for. I'll hear their death bleating when I walk. You are impossible. You are. You are. You. I need social distancing. You're in your house. How much more distance do you need? Maybe we really don't know each other. Maybe this quarantine is going to show us that we don't belong together. Uh, maybe we just shouldn't buy each other presents. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. But I do have an idea for your birthday. What now? You don't understand. Things are different now. I wish you hadn't come, Miss Douglas. I have to look after my brothers. There's nothing to talk about. We don't have a computer, and our internet never works. You can leave a packet of assignments if you want. I won't be doing them. I told you, I have to look after my brothers. Have a good life as much as you can these days. There's nothing to... You don't! Stop! Stop talking! Nothing you say matters! Don't you get it? It's all gone! Everything I planned for? Graduate? Work at the diner until the very last second? Pack my life up and escape? Gone! No school, no job, maybe no college. I have nowhere to go. I can't leave even if I wanted to. I'm here. 
You better go. I have to look after my brothers. Don't touch your face. <laughs> don't do it. You don't touch your face. Oh, I won't. I don't want to. Really? Not at all. Not at all. Really? Not even a little bit? The itching isn't driving you crazy? I won't let it. Oh. I understand the severity of our situation. Right. We must be diligent. Well. Don't you think so? Sure, especially when I have friends like you to remind me. These are unprecedented times. I feel I was made to rise to the occasion at these circumstances of difficulty and strife. I was made to answer the call. Can't you feel the responsibility coursing through your veins to stand and be in this moment more than you ever could as a human being? Fine. I don't want to touch my face. I can't wait to be a better human being. Good. I don't want to. I do not. Nope. No. How can you stand it? I never realized how much I test my face and scratch my nose and rub my eyes. I'm a walking disease factory. I'm a hotbed for infection. I'm a powder puff of plague. All it takes is a little self-control. I'm surprised you can't find it within yourself to wrestle with your weaknesses. We all must do better, Ren. We all must. You just touched your face. What? You scratched your cheek. I did not. You did! You did! <laughs> so what if I did? I wash my hands every 15 minutes and wipe down every surface of doorknob on the hour. I am totally germ-free. I have everything under control. You've got weaknesses just like the rest of us. Ah! <laughs> Today is a good day. Don't touch your face. We must wrestle with our weaknesses. Or gently live with them. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Who's there? I know you're there. I can hear you breathing. Come out into the open. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Hello. You. Surprise. <laughs> you're not welcome here. Oh. Get out. Hey, hey, come on now. Aren't you pleased to see me? Not even a little bit. Please to see the thing responsible for a global pandemic? Oh, stop. You're making me blush. Why would I be pleased to see a disease in my home? Disease is it, just... It, it's such an ugly word. Uh, you can call me Co. Uh, short for COVID-19. I know what it's short for. Not the name I would have chosen, but it does seem to be on everyone's lips these days. I'm everywhere. Still, I do prefer the short term. You can call me that. I'm not calling you anything. We're not friends. <laughs> well, we could be. We could be best friends. Stop where you are. Get back. Back. Uh, all right. Gosh. Not being very nice. I'm a pretty fabulous friend. Pass. Is this how you treat someone who's been invited into your home? <laughs> I didn't invite you. Alex, you, you did. <laughs> I did not. Last week, when you... snuck out? Shush! Shut uh, up! Okay, come on now, I'm not going to tell. I'm your friend. Now, I want you to raise... I want you to raise your fist, right? And, and feel like you're being mistreated by this quarantine. I mean, it is awful. I can't believe they don't trust us. We can totally do social distancing. All right? Resist and break all the rules you want. Push for things to be the way, the way they were yesterday, last week, uh, last month, last year. Because when you do, when you sneak out and go to a party where there's lots of people to talk to and, and things to touch, it, it's, it's lovely. <laughs> 
You're lovely. But we were careful. I, I'm sure you were. <laughs> we were, and no one there was sick. I'm sure they weren't. Not visibly, anyways. <laughs> I wanted to see my friends. I'm face to face. I miss them. And, you know, I appreciate that feeling. I mean, I, I have to thank you. You make my job easy. Oh, crap. Now, you might not think much of me now, but we are going to have a lot of time to get to know each other. Well, not a lot of time. We're going to become great friends. The very best. You'll see. Oh, we're, uh, here. That was sudden. Oh, no. Why can't we pick our own groups? Okay, we have ten minutes, and then we get pull back to the main page. Our instructions are... But, uh, we're not actually working, right? No. Okay. What? This class doesn't matter. She can't make us do anything. We get marks just for showing up. We could talk about whatever. Great. How surprising. What shows are you watching? I found this really good show Just on like Netflix. class, you do the bare minimum. I end up doing everything. Losers. Hey, what did you say? You heard me, but I'll say it again. Losers. Both of you. You wouldn't dare say that to my face. Well, wouldn't I? Let's try it. You are a waste of space. Isn't this an overreaction for wanting to talk about Netflix? Work or don't work, your slow descent into a useless life is none of my business. What happened to you? Just wait till we're at school. Just you wait. I'm gonna- Stop I'm it! Go you are not. Are you telling me what to do? Yes, Greer. What happened? I don't know what you're talking about. Did you lose someone? Is someone sick? Is that the only thing that would make you care? Why is it when some people find their voice, it's so annoying? You never talk like this. What happened? Is it your parents? Um, no. My parents are doctors. Oh. Where? St. Joe's. I've barely seen them in weeks. They can't keep up. They try, but there's no end. They're not saying anything, but it's written all over their faces. It makes me feel I can't. There's a constant lump in my throat, and I feel... Death is at your door. Yes, and knocking loudly. That's rough. So, you know it's hopeless. All this, giving us assignments, and pretending that school has any point anymore. But I wanted to have a point, Faye. I wanted to do something that feels normal, and besides, you acted this way before the world went kablooey. I guess, but now it's... it's different. Everything is... it's hopeless, and we're all lost. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes it feels like that. It's hard to fight. But you have to! You have to fight because we're not lost. We're... Here, you're alive. You can't let this drag you under. Hope is stronger than hopelessness. Always has been, always will be. I know it doesn't feel like that right now, but this is temporary. You can't give up on hope. Wow, that is a lot of someone who doesn't care for the grades. I just want to talk. My parents have decided to handle this by... Working 18 hours a day in silence. Look, Sam, my mom isn't feeling well. She won't talk either. I'm worried about my grandma. She's all alone. Yeah, so maybe we could talk about movies or food or music. Yeah, something normal. Please. I I hate eggplant. It's, it's too slimy. 
Yeah, I hate eggplant too. Like, my mom deep fries it and it doesn't help. Disgusting! I'm against all vegetables. My mother makes smoothies and pretends like she didn't put vegetables in it. Mine too. My grandma doesn't hide them. She just stares at me till my joke can't take it anymore. <laughs> hey guys, um, by the way, uh, there's a signal from Miss D. Was that good? It was. Thanks. Look, you can't stop me. I've made up my mind. I've thought about this for a long time. What else do I have to do? This is my decision and you have to respect it. I'm going to cut my hair. I'm going to do it. And whatever happens, happens. I'll live with it. Because I can't live with this. This is driving me mental. Look at it. Look. You know I'm right. I understand that some may say that hairdressers are not an essential service, but I'm here to tell you they are wrong. It is essential that I have someone deal with this. And now we're back to the essential, non-essential argument, which no one is going to solve. So it's up to me. I'm the one. I must raise a pair of scissors and live with consequences. I understand that some may say that this decision is not important. There are larger issues the world is dealing with. But good hair has a place in this world, okay? I'm gonna do it. Don't try and stop me. Here I go. Wish me luck. The human is still here. The human is still here. Why is the human here? What? Who? Ready? Why is the human here? Isn't it great? It's so great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Useless. Uh, the human always goes away during the day. And now they're not going anywhere. They haven't left the couch in three days. Our human goes places. We go for walks. It's so great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Useless. I'm not talking about your pointless meanderings. How am I supposed to properly reign with the humans constantly underfoot, demanding snuggles? I don't have time to snuggle during the day. I must survey my domain. This is disrupting my order. We have to find out why. Why what? <sighs> why is the human still here? Isn't it great? It's so great. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Useless! This is the best time of my life. <sighs> you think every time is the best time of your life. Five minutes from now is the best time of your life. We must return order, Lucky. We cannot let this go on. Let me think. Hey. Hey, hey, hey Shadow. Uh, I, I have something to tell you. It's really important. It's really, 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 really... What? What is it? A human is here all the time. Isn't it great? I wonder why. <laughs> Useless! The human is always busy. Always on the go. This was the strategy from the beginning. Keep the human busy so that I may reign in peace. Something must have happened out there. Out where? Outside. Outside? Hmm. It looks the same to me. <sighs> but it's not. It can't be, because nothing is the same. The human keeps looking at me and talking to me and expecting snuggles. The order has been lost. It is not normal. Maybe things will never be normal. What? Not like we know them. Maybe this is going to change our lives forever, and we'll have to figure this out. And we will, and our human will. That's what humans do. They may whine a little mm -hmm. bit, but then they roll up their mm -hmm. sleeves and go mm -hmm. on. We always go on. Lucky, did you just speak deeply? What? Huh? What? <laughs> Useless! Have you ever said something out loud, like in conversation, where you were trying to be funny, or trying to sound controversial, or... 
You just want it to sound, I don't know, cool, for fun, spiky, like a hedgehog, only cool, a cool hedgehog. <laughs> Did you know that a hedgehog is called a hoglet? <laughs> They're so cute. <sighs> Did you ever want to have an aura of chaos for a second? Have a cool adventure, just a short one? Have you ever want to be involved in unrest even though you're actually pretty quiet and enjoy reading a good book on a Friday night? Who knew we'd had all this time to read? If people feel that you're involved in unrest, then you become cool. Doesn't everyone want that for a few seconds? And I did it for more than a few seconds. You know what? I can't wait till we have an apocalypse. The world is going to hell anyway, better sooner than later. And when it happens, and it will happen, I am going to live by my own rules. No one can tell you what to do when chaos takes over the world, and especially when disorder is the law of the land. People would say to me that last part over and over again. When disorder is the law of the land. Um, yeah, so here we are. The world, the chaos, me. Saying something and it actually happening are two vastly different things. You know what? I've discovered I'm rather a fond of rules and order and going to school. I don't want a cool adventure. I feel like this is all my fault because I wished so hard it would happen. I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it all back. Okay? Is this on? Are we on? I can see and hear you. Great. Famine, turn your mic on. Oh, this is going to take forever. What are you in a rush for? Isn't your part done? I'm monitoring the situation. There are a lot of moving pieces. This is a scenario that needs constant attention. Uh-huh. Besides, maybe I have something else. Maybe I have a date. Do you? No, but I could. Okay. I could end the world and date at the same time, you know. I'm an excellent multitasker. Turn your mic on. Hello, can you hear me? We got you. This is the 21st century. Why don't you know how to work a computer? So why aren't we meeting in person? Death couldn't make it in person. Death couldn't make it for five minutes? I was looking forward to brunch. You could take five minutes to learn how to work a computer. If you're going to start in on me, I'll go. I got things to do. Oh, what's everybody rushing for? Just because you're up front center, per usual. <laughs> uh, are you saying I'm jealous? of a global pandemic if the shoe fits ridiculous all i'm saying is someone is not getting employed the year this year and someone is totally gonna get it where is that i don't in the waiting room just let me click yes no yes all right no if they're going to push Hey, Death. No. No, absolutely not, Jennifer. Tell her absolutely not. I won't be long. Did you send the report to my email? Great. Thank you. Hey, gang. How, how goes the battle? Awesome. You have a secretary? Administrative assistant. Why don't I have a secretary? Uh, I man, I wish I had two. Uh, speaking of, can we speed this thing along? I call to order this meeting of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yes, I see your hand. Can I get through the call to order first? Why do I have to keep bringing this up? This is the 21st century. We are aware. We're not all men, and when was the last time any of us were on a horse? 
It's the name of the organization. Take it up with someone in a higher pay grade. Talk to HR. All right. The agenda for this meeting. Oh, wait. I didn't get an agenda. I didn't get one either. Did you send it to Jennifer? I'm hungry. I didn't actually write an agenda. I didn't think we needed it. I'd wish you'd written up one. I wish I had a BLT. There's only one thing to talk about. It's the only thing anyone is talking about. Still, you could have taken five minutes. It's not like you're busy or anything. War is happening. War is always happening. Just because you're getting all the brownie points for a jacked up flu. <laughs> oh, you are jealous. I am not. You don't see me getting bent out of shape because famine isn't getting brownie points. War, fess up. You're looking a little green. Can we get going? Death and pestilence. Right. Give your reports. All right, I'll go. I'll go. out. Oh, oh man, guys, I, I, I gotta go. I, uh, I just got a notification. Uh, the beaches are open in, in Florida. I'll, I'll have uh, I'll have Jennifer shoot you a copy of my report. My turn. I didn't think I need to point out, but I will. Things are going great. Better than great. This pandemic is over the top amazing. Why don't you just shoot us your report, too? I'm gonna go make a sandwich. But, but you always want to hear war reports. Unfair. I deserve to be a part of the agenda. I deserve to be heard. I'm gonna write you all up for this. In duplicate. Well, that was a waste of time. Not that I have much to do right now. But I'm not jealous. I wonder if I could start a war in Iceland. I am slowly going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch. Crazy going slowly in my six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. My dad asks me how I am every day. He's involved always checking in i say fine fine dad thanks for asking doing okay it's easier to say fine than explain because i should be fine i should be i don't have much to be unfine about other than quarantine a virus killing people and the possible collapse of the economy i should be fine Everyone I know is healthy. My parents don't lose their jobs. There are more than enough rooms in our house for everyone to have all the personal space they need. I have my own laptop. The internet's great. See what I mean? I should be fine. And productive. I should be so productive right now. I could practice guitar. And how many times have I said I wanted to be better at Spanish? Now's the time. Now's the perfect time to become the best version of myself. I'm not doing anything and I'm not fine, I'm heavy. It takes forever to decide what to wear in the morning. Poor Dorian, you feel bad. Poor you living in your big house with everything you could ever want. See what I mean? I can't tell anyone about this. How my arms are lead, my feet are trapped in cement and the weight, the weight is pulling me down. I can't breathe or see daylight anymore. I haven't seen it in weeks. How am I supposed to say that to my dad? Why do I feel so sad when I have everything? Man, I, I gotta say, I, I just love your house. I mean, it's just... Whoa! That's a nice floor. I mean, they are doing such cool things with laminate these days. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm inviting myself in, of course. Uh, you've been outside. You didn't wear gloves or a mask. That lady coughed and touched the door and... Oh, I I'm getting ahead. I haven't even properly introduced myself. I I'm Cove. Short for COVID-19. Not that anyone would have chosen, but we do what we can. You can't just come in here. Well, sure I can. I'm in right now. I'm on you. Did you know that? It's like we're best friends. That's how close we are. And it's only a matter of time before we really get to know each other. I haven't touched any. 
I haven't even touched my face. It's only a matter of time. But wash my hands. But wait, wait, wait. But why, why would you want to do that? Because that's the first thing I do when I walk in. Well, it seems obsessive. Listen, I don't want to be your friend. In fact, you interrupted me, so... Oh, okay, okay, not so fast, not so fast. Before I go, let, let us chat. Let's talk. Confab with COVID. You don't need to wash your hands right away. You're here, so I really hate it. I'm just kidding. I'm not that bad. Millions say otherwise. I can't help it if I'm popular. Then why don't you go talk to those people then? Well, but they don't count. I want to get to know you. I'm afraid to be disappointed. All right, all right. W wash your hands. See if I care. Sir, none. What? Okay, not so. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Selfie. Sure. Wait. No. No. I'm washing my hands, and I want you out now. You know what? You, you'll you'll be sorry. I have so many funny jokes, a ton of interesting stories. I mean, I'm a pretty fabulous friend. You kill people. That's an unfortunate side effect. Ow! Now. All right. Hey, 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 hey! Don't wash your hands. That that is that is a myth for for twenty seconds. Don't wash him. 20 seconds. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, happy birthday, Rudd. Not happy birthday, Rudd. Happy birthday to you. Scene from a quarantine. They. Who knows? Wednesday, or Thursday. Is there a soup day? These are the days of the week to be the first to go. Canceled, just like everything else. I went for a walk today. To nowhere, really. I just couldn't sit in my room anymore. There's a girl on my street who's in my calculus class. We n never talk or we've never talked before, we're not in the same circles, but today, hi, how are you doing? Um, okay, some days I'm okay, ups and downs. Can you hear me too? They canceled prom. They did? Yeah, they did. Oh, that sucks. I bought a dress. I don't know. No one knows. Ugh, this sucks. Yeah, it does. Huh. Conversation. When will I enjoy that? The sun is shining. It still does that. I'm glad. 